and the kind of things that we want to talk to you about today. That we're all experiencing the consequences of has presented significant challenges for everyone. But with every challenge comes opportunity. And with that, this is my request to you all to come together and play your part in helping us open tennis back up. Earlier this year, we announced a multi-million pound support package designed to ensure clubs and venues can bounce back and players, coaches and officials would not be lost to our sport as a result of this crisis. I was determined to ensure that tennis emerges in as strong a position as possible. So we went as far and wide as we could to provide support right across the tennis community. With tennis now starting to get back up and running, the interest has been huge and we want to work with you to capitalise on it. We want to get more people into your venues and your classes and help thousands more people pick up a racket and enjoy the mental and physical benefits of our sport. With tennis, one of the few sports that can be safely undertaken in the current environment, we want to work together to reach more people increase participation and capture the moment and the opportunities for coaches, clubs and venues. So our ask of you is this, we want you to help us open up our sport as part of a Back to Tennis campaign. Over the next six weeks, we want every single tennis venue to commit to open up their courts to provide at least some level of provision for the wider community in your local area to play the sport that we all love. We want coaches to open up or provide sessions for anyone looking to get into or return to tennis. We have the tools to help you do this through ClubSpark and our digital platform, LTA Rally. We will also provide promotional materials for you to use as part of a significant investment in a national marketing campaign for tennis which is going to reach some 35% of our population, inspiring people to book a call, a coaching session, or sign up to a venue. With your help over the coming weeks, we can turn the current challenges into an opportunity, and we can all play a part in bringing more people into our sport and deliver our collective vision of opening tennis up. You are the lifeblood of tennis, and without you, our sport simply couldn't thrive. Please show your support by registering. So you might have seen that video earlier on today, um, but hopefully um, that's just given you a bit of a refresher. What I'm going to cover with you today is how you can actively get involved in this campaign. We are really excited to work with you and as we've been doing across the last few months when we've really all had to come together under the restrictions that we faced and then to open up, we want to continue that work by ensuring that coaches and venues can get fully back up as things ease off across June, July and August. So how, how do we plan to do that? Whoops, sorry, technical hitch. Let me just sort that out. So we've watched, watched the video. What we're going to do today is talk about this campaign that we're going to run. We're going to be aiming to reach 18 million people, 35% of the population. Today, I'm going to cover what the campaign's about, how you can really be part of it, be aware about how your venue and coaching program could maximize the demand that you could get through this and understand how you can access resources and how we can help you do what you want to do to open up tennis and work with us on the back of this real once in a lifetime opportunity to get things really moving. So the first thing is the campaign. So Scott's talked about it a little bit there. In more detail, these are some examples of how the campaign might work. So it will be on social media. It will be on Facebook. You might have seen some stuff already on Facebook, starting to talk about Wimbledon, players coming back, starting to lead into this.
but from the 22nd we'll make sure that there's going to be a very wide campaign across all sorts of platforms so facebook twitter and instagram has started already there's going to be what we call out of home advertising now to the layman like me and you that means it will be on bus stops it's going to be on some billboards and particularly where they're near to some very big parks so 300 priority park courts that we're trying to promote but they will also be near your clubs so people will see tennis and they'll think it's relevant to them we've made sure that the marketing really talks to everyone we're saying no matter how you currently play or don't because you haven't started you can take tennis and play your way so the poster that you can see says big timers and miss timers so doesn't need to always get it right out is a new in aimed to make sure that people aren't put off by having to be perfect in order to come and have a go and play now one of the main markets we are trying to reach by doing this campaign are people that are already active but they can't be active in the sports that they would normally be doing across this time period and we think we can really attract them into tennis as people who want to be active who may have played in the past who may play sometimes but we want to make sure that we can get them back in the game as well as new people coming to try tennis out so the main page that they'll be driven to is lta.org play your way so a lot of the campaigns will be to that web page but they will also link directly as i'll go on later in the presentation to outline into rally where they can actually sign up and book so what does it mean so the one thing that most people will identify with tennis more than anything else is a tennis ball it's the only ball that you can use to play tennis but there's multiple types of tennis balls as you can see on this picture and actually the advert that's going to be going out across different platforms particularly in tv and radio is going to focus on tennis balls so it's going to look at the balls like the one on the right there that are very old been playing a long time and got a bit lost it's going to look at ones that might be stuck in a gutter in a fence maybe as we've seen over there stuck in a, a load of nettles but the aim is to track the story behind these tennis balls so there'll be a reverse campaign where you'll see the videos going back to the players and understand the story of people relevant and playing tennis in the way that they want to play so the, the, the films will celebrate the game and finish with a, a cry a call to action for people to actually get involved so where will we see them? As we said, we're planning on advertising. 35% of the population will be reached by this advertising. So 18 million adults. It's a six figure sum of investment. And the reason we're putting the investment in is we do think this is a one time opportunity to make a massive difference to you in venues and to your coaching programs to get us back going in tennis. You'll see the digital marketing from the 22nd of June, and you probably recognize quite a lot of these channels and symbols. So it will be everywhere, and you have a real opportunity to link into it. What we're really aiming to do is make sure that people don't just see tennis, but they think it's relevant to them, and they play tennis. So we want to make sure that the marketing materials that are there, and you will get them after this session, are really easy for you to use so not only will it be out on social media you can use it on your own social media you can use it on your websites and you can use it in printed materials at your club as well it will also be in parks and we have some education sites that might also open up so there'll be ongoing announcements of the return as we go through as well through the summer when we're able to open up more from lockdown for example for tennis for kids etc but the start of the program is going to be aimed at people booking courts coming down maybe as a family to play or an adult individual and for coaches to be able to set up sessions that are mainly aimed at adults at this point with the opportunity to do more with children as the lockdown eases 
So how can you take advantage? We are really excited about this, but actually what's really important is that you get excited about it. And we help you in any way that we can to get this set up for you at your venue. So how can you get involved? Well, the one thing we really want people to do is talk about it. Talk, uh, talk to your venue if you're here as a coach. If you're a venue that's here, talk to your coach. Make sure that you are signed up and you know that there's an opportunity there. I would ask you to really try and think differently. How could you open up, even if it's for a few sessions as a coach, you might not want to use ClubSpark for all of your coaching booking, but you could put on some trial sessions. You could also, as a club, decide if you're not having open weekends that maybe, although you haven't got pain play, you'd want to set up some free sessions. So you could just ask people to come down at a time that other people might be at the club from your committee and they could have a chance to play. We want to make sure that if you open your court time up, we can link you into Rally. You might not want to do pain play, but you might be offering membership options after a free session. Coaching courses can also be publicized on Rally, and I'm gonna talk about what Rally is in a minute. But you can do that really easily, and we'll show you how to do that. And the other thing we're asking coaches to make sure is that your Find a Coach profile is up to date, and your information is displayed properly with your contact details because people will look in multiple places to find this. So we know that there's a challenge and we know this because we've done a lot of research. Now those of you that are heavily involved in tennis that are on this webinar probably think it's quite easy to find your club and to find courts to play. But actually people who don't play very often or people who are new to tennis tell us the opposite, that actually organizing tennis and finding a court is a really big barrier to people getting into tennis. And in order to deal with this, we have updated and developed some websites to do this. Now the main one that we're talking about here is a website, it's called Rally. Now what Rally is, it's like moneysupermarket.com or confuse.com. It aggregates, aggregates lots of information together from a series of other websites. It works through ClubSpark. So it joins ClubSpark websites up and you can use this to search in your local area. You put your postcode in and if you're looking for a court, you put the time of day in and it can show all the courts that are available at that time of day to play and pay or if they're free access, when you can get in and you can actually book through it as well. It will also from now on show adult coaching programs. So as a coach, if you put your program on and link it to Rally, people will be able to very easily find you and find your program, sign up and book online through ClubSpark. Now the reason we're doing this and using Rally and ClubSpark as a route is we do need one single entry point to make it easy for people to find and book and get involved. And we will be heavily promoting Rally as the way to do that. Now obviously, players might also still be able to search for you online, but as we put this out, Rally will be the top thing that comes up in a search to 18 million people that see this campaign. So it is a real opportunity and we'd like to support you to try and find a way to do this at your venue or as a coach. So a little bit about ClubSpark. I know many of you on here already use ClubSpark, but some of you don't. Those that don't, it does all of these things. It does court booking, you can flexibly schedule. That means that you can just release some certain times of day that you're happy for people to come into your club either for pay and play or for a series of free se sessions. You could organize that over a fixed period of time. It doesn't need to be always. It's a free resource. You can develop a website out of it. You can also manage your membership and you can do pay through it. You can also book and pay in the go because it's um, usable with mobile apps. So ClubSpark is one of the things that we can help you understand how to develop if you haven't got that already. We'll be sharing resources with you. 
I'll do a poll at the end also to understand how many of you would like more webinars on different parts of Club Spark, which we can also provide. But as, as of today, there's a series of new how-to videos that are really effective and easy to use. We've tested them out with people who haven't done Club Spark before and they've found them easy to use. So we're trying to make it as simple as possible for you to set the system up. This is a little case study of a club in the weeks since we've opened up after um, the lockdown and what they've managed. So this is one of our clubs, Ashbourne. Uh, they're in Derbyshire. They, are, they see themselves as an accessible local club that are trying to promote in their area as many people as possible. And since they've used Club Spark media marketing and put their information on Rally, they've had 432 court bookings. At 10 pounds a booking, that's a sizable amount of money that's coming to the club. They've had 60 new families get involved, 85 new members, which is a 41% increase for them, and 14 conversions from doing pay and play into membership. And I think this really shows that this can be really effective for clubs that want to attract more people into their venues. It also means that you as a club are in control of how much you want to do pay and play, if you want to do that, or how you offer memberships. One of the things that Ashbourne have done, have offered a short time membership to enable people to join easily and try the club out for a period of time. Because for many new people, they don't necessarily want to jump right in and pay a full membership until they know what can be available to them but it is useful and it, we have got other examples and we've got clubs that would be very happy to speak to you if that's something that you'd like to have as a venue. So what are we going to help you with? This is a range of resources that are available to you, some of which you'll be able to download from a Dropbox when we send you the email after and the recording. Some of them will come when you sign up for Rally. So the banner and the how to book on a tennis court are fixed resources that come with Rally as a pack. And when you decide to join up, you get a pack that goes with it for your venue. Some of the new posters will be available for you to print or to use on your, your websites or in social media. And you'll have those uh, at the end of today when we send you the video. And just if that wasn't enough incentive to get you involved and get people at it, we've also got an offer that we're going to be doing. We've got 45,000 tennis balls, which is part of our story, to give away. And the reason we have those is that we're not running the grass tournaments. So we looked up online earlier on, and if you buy six dozen um, tennis balls, it would cost you nearly 130 pounds. We're going to be asking those who want these who do sign up to rally and get this as an offer that they will be able to get a pack for 15 pounds which will just cover the processing and the packaging so we can send them out to you and the way that you'll be able to do that is once you've activated rally if you decide to come on board with the campaign you'll be able to, you'll be sent a link afterwards and you'll be able to sign up quickly to get this resource which i'm sure many of you would find very useful with your existing and your new players as you come through so how can you get involved? The next steps for coaches are fairly simple. When you're uploading a, a session on Club Spark, and I'll show you exactly how to get involved and sign up to Club Spark in a minute, all you need to do on your Club Spark account if you're setting up a coaching session is check the tick box that you can see, which is on Rally. You just check that and it will be advertised on Rally for that session. And then you need to think about with your club, how you want to make sure that those members that come along to some of your sessions as a coach have an opportunity to find out how they can join the club. And then as a venue, we have some steps that you can also get involved in. So you activate your Club Spark venue account and I'll show you the page to do that in a minute. That takes 24 hours to do if you don't currently use Club Spark. If you use Club Spark, you just need to set up your booking module if you haven't done that already. 
if you have booking already up and you have some free or pay and play court time, you just need to email us at rally.lta.org or the PTPs, which will send you their email addresses after the session. And we will activate Rally for you and you will receive a pack and your venue will go on Rally as a website. If you want some help, there's a link on here which goes into the videos that I talked about. And there are a set of videos from starting a ClubSpark website all the way through to setting up a coaching program, using it for events or competitions, as well as setting up membership and booking. So once you sign up to Rally, you will get your Rally Activation Marketing Pack, which includes banners and a fixed sign so that people know how to book properly, as well as information on how to publicize that. And then the main thing is, is that you also think about your membership. If you haven't got easy access packages set up already, you can set this up. Now, the easiest way to get on ClubSpark is go to this page on the LTA website and there are two options. You just click on these links to either sign up as a registered venue or to sign up as an accredited coach. You will just need your registration number or your accreditation number to do that. So I'm going to pause for a minute and ask for questions. One question, Claire, come in um, from one venue saying, how do clubs um, manage pay and play if they don't have the gate access system and they only have a coded padlock um, on the gate at the minute? Okay, so when you use ClubSpark as a booking page, you have the option um, to send emails to people when they book. Now what most venues are doing with the padlock um, and coded system is that they are deciding, depending on how they want to run it, on a daily or a weekly basis that they share that code on the email and we can provide you further information about that and follow up webinars if, if that's more challenging to do. So it just means that anyone who books and pays online gets access to that system. There are a few clubs that I've talked about that are deciding to have access on pay and play or free sessions when they know that members of the committee will be at the club and that the gates, etc., will be open and they will be there to welcome any new members and make sure they follow guidelines. Some people have been concerned about people following guidelines, but actually, Again, that's an information that you can put on these emails that go out to people when they book. Um, and then one more question, Claire, um, from June, who's already signed up and on Rally, which is brilliant, is how they will access the balls. And if other people are thinking that, then we'll follow up um, in an email with a link of how you can access the balls if you've already done the, the Rally part of it. Yeah, if you're already signed up to Rally, uh, you will be able to get in right away and sign up to get those. Any more questions? No, that's it for a minute. Thank you. Fantastic. So I'm just going to minimise the chat and go on to the next slide. So oh, we've jumped again. So that, that really is, the, is a summary from us. That's everything that we've got in terms of getting you signed up. There is a lot of information that we'll send to you. I'm quite happy to take other questions if you want them. I'm going to set a poll going. So you will see that coming to you and that will let us know if you can vote on this poll, how you've got on today, what other information you feel is really important. and also what other sessions you would want to have. So what we've covered today is the campaign and the basics of how we want you to get involved and work with us on Play Your Way. We've covered Club Spark and what it can do for you and how you can set up and get involved in sessions on Rally if you're a venue or if you're a coach. We'll send you the video recording and there will be a pack with resources and information on the campaign. And we'll be offering further webinars if you haven't joined one already. We're really lucky in the region. We've got 
quite a lot of clubs already really interested in rally. One of the things that I wanted to make clear to people is you don't need to have a gate to use rally as a system. As we said, we can, we can give you some support in order to work out how to use that. And just a couple more questions have come in as you've been speaking. Um, so people who are already on ClubSpark, how do we activate LTA Rally? Um, so in the follow-up notes to the meeting, we'll give you, you can either do it through your PDP, so Laura, Van or I, um, if um, we're working with you and you, you know us, that's absolutely fine. Just to say that the rest of the, the team are actually on furlough at the minute. So it's just Van, Laura and I covering the, the Midlands and, and Claire's been looking after some of the Leicestershire clubs. So you can speak to us and we'll sign you up to rally. That's not a problem. Our contact details will be in the email, but you can also the LTA rally um, email address that Claire mentioned. We'll make sure that's in the, in the follow, follow up email as well. So if you're already on it, it's really easy. Um, and another question, if you, a couple of people saying they've got similar concerns about gate access and pay and play, again, if that's something that you could discuss with Van or I or Laura or Claire about how it might work for your venue, we've got loads of examples of clubs that are doing it at the minute, so we could share some good practice around that. So again, just drop us a note and we'll, we, we can help you on that. Um, I think... Do keep voting on the poll if you haven't done it already. I think that's the questions at the minute. If there's a, oh, we've got one new one before we go. Uh, why is the campaign focusing on adult coaching um, when so many children are out of school? We are going to be focusing on children as we move towards larger groups because obviously for many they're saying that to operate tennis for kids on smaller groups for example that's going to be challenging um, so we will be we obviously have mechanisms for tennis for the kids and we're hoping that as we go through the campaign because it will be lasting for six weeks that we will start to be able to publicize those sessions at the moment, we know many clubs are focusing on adult members and getting them back in. Um, so we're doing that. This doesn't stop coaches advertising um, sessions with children um, as part of their coaching. And just a good comment from John uh, Copsey from Lincolnshire, I think, said that he hadn't quite appreciated the opportunity to um, capture some of those people that are normally going to the gym or swimming or normally doing something else and actually getting them active through tennis um, and hadn't quite thought about what a great opportunity that was so I thought that was a good good comment to make. And we have um, anecdotally <laughs> had quite a few clubs and we have had contacts already from other NGBs as well um, to us and that's one of the reasons that we're really focusing on this um, you know, at the moment, we know that there are many people that have stayed active at home, but they want an opportunity to do more. So we want to really encourage them that they can come and get involved in tennis because many of them will lose their sport for quite a period of time. I think we're up to date on questions. If anyone's got any other ones, put them on. Um... Yeah, there's another question from uh, Andy Reynolds, who's a coach. Um, and asking whether it can rally can be set up on either Club Spark accounts with clubs or with the coach version of Club Spark. Yes, you can actually have both. Um, if someone searches, it will come up as both. So, um, as a coach, your program might cover several venues, and the club might also want to make sure that it's got rally set up um, on their club. So, they will both come up when someone searches for them. Fantastic. Well, we've got just a few people left to vote if they want, and I'll share the poll with you. Um, it looks like overwhelmingly people feel like they can take part, and there's a few requests for things to follow up on. So setting up Club Spark membership is there. So I think we will be able to send you some videos and we'll set up webinars if people find that useful as well. Do keep voting if you want to vote in the poll and I'll send that round. The one from, from David, um, which 
I think is a good word to raise is what does a club need to put in place before we can register with Rally? So uh, the main thing is, is that obviously you need to be on Club Spark and uh, you can go in and sign up for that as, a, as we said at, um, at the website, the OTA. Um, you, it's free for a registered venue. You then would need to set up the booking module. So in the booking module, you would need to activate that and then you will need to set up some sessions which are either free access or pay and play access so that you're actually showing that there is an open element to the club for people to come and try it out. So you can either choose to set that up with a payment, which you can do through Club Spark. Um, you set up a, an account, we can show you how to do that and there's videos to show you how to do that. But then once you've got some ability for people to book, to come and be at your venue, then we've got an opportunity to turn Rally on for you. One last one question. Uh, question is, um, are we expected to loan equipment and is it safe? So again, I think good point to, to raise on that one. Um, I think what we're recommending at the moment is that um, if people are following guidelines, washing hands, etc. afterwards, then the desirability is that um, they don't necessarily need, they could share tennis balls within a group. Um, but really, yes, we'd want people to be sharing rackets. If you've got an opportunity to properly clean down rackets afterwards, as you would with everything else that you're using, then that's not an issue. You can do that. Um, we also know that um, there's quite a lot of availability at the moment in some of the major retail stores that are going to be opening this week um, for cheap rackets for people to access. So we are, um, we're also hoping that we might have um, some promotions on that as we, as we kick off the campaign from the 22nd. So do watch the space on that one. Great, thank you. Um, one in saying, is there a way of knowing who's booked on a court fire rally or direct on Club Spark? So um, rally just sends people to Club Spark. So apart from it sending you to your Club Spark page to book a court, that, that's what rally does. It just gets people there to your Club Spark page. So you need to check your own Club Spark page to see the booking sheet and who's booked a court and where and when. In order for someone to book on Club Spark, the great thing is, is that they have to register with Club Spark and they will register on your account, on your venue. So you will have their contact details. You can put information in that's around the terms and conditions of using your club and they will have that as well. Um, one question from Chris saying, how can we find out how many clubs are using the coaching module to take payments and if partly or fully? That's a good question. We have quite high adaption actually in terms of coaching modules. I can get that information and, and send it to you. Um, we do have um, quite a lot of coaches using it successfully. A lot of them use it for the full business and some of them, again, we're recommending that even if you don't, you could set up some sessions just on this and the cost that it takes to get payments obviously can be passed on. Um, to the coaching charge that you make. Um, thanks, Chris, for the note here, just saying that do people know good good point to raise about the Club Spark Booker app, because it's really good. Um, so people can book through an app on, so if you are walking through the park um, and decide that you wanna give tennis a go tomorrow, there and then through the app, you can log on and, and book your court. So um, that's got some really good feedback. Um, does becoming a member of Club Spark require managing by a club member? Um, if you've got club members um, and you want to set up a booking sheet, then the club, the venue needs to invite all club members to be able to book on that booking sheet. But if it's just um, a member of the um, public, they can to book pay and play. That doesn't have to be managed by the club. People can just book. Um, online and then go through that process if you've got online booking and online payment set up. Um, another shout out for the app saying that not many people seem to know about it, so, but it's really good. Um, so thanks to that, Andrew. Um, and then Claire, just one back for you. If you could pick up 
uh, about hygiene facilities. Um, we've locked down our clubhouse and, and toilets as we can't see how to keep these safe at the minute. Any suggestions? I think um, what most people are, who have opened up are doing are making sure that they have gloves and cleaning products that can be used by adults if they decide to use the facilities. And that also includes being able to ensure that surfaces that are touched as people might go through. And I think some of this really depends on where you've got access. Um, for example, some people might have an accessible toilet that's very near the entrance or on the outside of a building. But um, if you risk assess based on what the guidelines are and you can provide cleaning opportunities and you're, you're sure that children are not accessing independently, then it is, that is the main thing that people are doing. But you have to make that decision based on your own risk assessment in your own venue. Brilliant, thank you. Um, one about charging for Club Spark. So Club Spark is completely free if you're an accredited coach or a registered venue. That comes as part of being involved. Um, the, um, there's only a charge if um, you're taking payment through Club Spark. So if you just open your courts up, if you're a park court and the courts are free of charge, then you can use um, Club Spark and Rally and there's no charge at all. If you take payments for your courts, then there is a charge um, through GoCardless and Stripe, which is the, the system that takes the payment for you. And again, in the follow up email, we'll send you um, how much of a, a percentage that that is um, in terms of a, a, a charge for that. I've just shared the poll results with you all. Um, so you're about to see that the majority of people um, look like they'll be able to either take the decision to the committee to ask or that they've got enough information already to get involved in the campaign. So that's fantastic. There are a couple of you that have said that you're not quite sure whether it's for you or it's something you can do. Please do come back to us. Um, we'd like to do anything we can to help people make this a possibility. Um, I can also see there that there's quite a few different options of, of support that people want. Some of these we're going to send you already, but we also will set up more webinars. Um, so do look out for those. We're so, all good on the questions, I think. If anyone um, goes away and has to think about it and has any more questions, then please get in contact with um, any one of us in the team. We'll send out all the details after the meeting and we'll be happy to help on an individual pace, basis or if people want a more sort of um, detailed conversation around some issues that might be relevant just to their venue and again get in contact and, and, and one of us will be able to help out. So thank you very much everyone. I really, really appreciate your time. And uh, we hope to see many of you get involved and really benefit from this campaign. Please do come back to us and ask for any support. We'll stay on the, uh, the meeting for a bit longer, but feel free to, to leave. Uh, we can answer any questions if you want and uh, turn on your video as people leave if you want as well. <laughs>